Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Burgett. I'm going to read you a story today, and the story I'm reading you today is The Little Red Hen, and it is retold by Heather Forrest, and the illustrations are by Susan Garber. So in this book, The Little Red Hen, which you'll see right here, is one of our characters, and she wants to make some cake. She asks for help from the, our other characters, which are the little mouse right there, and the cat, and the dog, but they say that they will not help her. So I wonder what sh will happen when she's done making the cake. Hmm. I wonder what she's going to do. Let's find out. The little red hen. So our story takes place in the little house in a farm, okay? And our characters are, do you remember the characters I said? Yep, the little red hen, the dog, the cat, and the mouse. A little red hen lived in a house with a frisky dog, a cat, and a mouse. One day, while she was pecking for worms in the weeds, she came upon a pile of golden wheat seeds. She said with delight, Dog, cat, mouse, if you'd like some cake to eat, who will help me plant this wheat? The dog said, Not I. The cat said, Not I. The mouse said, Not I. My, my, said the hen with a sigh. I shall have to do it myself. So what is the problem in our story? Yeah, the little red hen wants to plant some wheat so she can make a cake. And her, her other friends, the dog and the cat and the mouse, they say, nope, I'm not going to help you. So the little red hen planted the seeds. She watered them well. She pulled the weeds and she tended the plants all alone. When the stalks were fully grown, she said with a shout, Dog, cat, mouse, if you'd like some cake to eat, who will help me cut this wheat? The dog said, Not I. The cat said, Not I. The mouse said, Not I. My, my, said the hen with a sigh. I shall have to do it myself. So one of the things that is happening in the event is the weed is ready to be cut and the cat and the mouse and the dog will not help. So look, she's cutting the wheat by herself. So the little red hen cut and cut until she had enough wheat to grind at the mill. She said with, a, with some doubt, cat, dog, mouse, if you'd like some cake to eat, who will help me grind this wheat? The dog said, yep, not I. The cat said, not I. The mouse said, not I. My, my, said the hen with a sigh. I shall have to do it myself. The little red hen ground the wheat to flour. Then it was the baking hour. She mixed up the batter and measured so well. Soon the house was filled with a sweet cake smell. So one of the other events that takes place is she had to grind the wheat by herself. And then she has to mix all the ingredients for her cake. The dog, the cat, and the mouse followed the scent into the house. They hungrily admired the handsome treats. How delicious, they shouted. When do we eat? Alone, the hen replied. I planted, I weeded, I cut, and I ground. The little, little pile of golden wheat seeds I found. Alone, I used the flour to bake. Now who will help me eat this cake? The dog said, I'll help. The cat said, I'll help. The mouse said, I'll help. My, my, said the hen with a sigh. I will.
will share my cake with those of you who help when there's work to do. For after all is said and done, working together makes working fun. Now, when the little red hen wants to bake, everyone helps make the cake. And everyone helps to eat it. So the end of our story is everybody helps to eat the cake. All right, I hope you liked my story today. Remember the five finger retail. We want to know what the characters are, the setting, the problem, some of the events that take place, and the ending. I hope you really enjoyed my book. I will see you later. Bye.